woman set on fire inside her own garage has died from her injuries. It happened on Lemonwood Street in Clearwater last night. Her husband called 911, and when authorities arrived, she was still on fire. Our Chris Trenkman is live at the medical examiner's office in Largo. So, Chris, do authorities know exactly what happened? Well, the medical examiner is still conducting the autopsy at this hour, but police investigators do know one thing that the injuries, the terrible injuries to this woman, were self-inflicted. From the outside, the home at 2880 Lemonwood Street looks as if nothing had happened. But just hours earlier, neighbors watched in horror as firefighters opened the garage door and found a woman completely engulfed in flames. As they opened the door, you saw the haze of smoke and her laying on the uh, garage floor. Clearwater police say 44-year-old Rhonda Wolf set herself ablaze and her husband discovered her burning to death. A suicide note was found along with two gas cans and a lighter. Third degree burns, 100% of her body. Her clothing was pretty much burned off and the remnants of it were just laying on the garage floor. Neighbors who met Wolf say it was not something they would have predicted. They're very nice people, very quiet people. Never say anything, bother anybody, wave at you as you go by. But police records show that Wolf had a troubled past. She was Baker acted in 2006 after she admitted trying to overdose on pills. Wolf also told investigators she cut her wrists several years earlier. But in this case, even first responders were likely stunned by the graphic nature of this woman's death. I'm sure it was not a, uh, a good scene for any of them to visit. It was probably a struggle for all of them, whether police or fire. Now, police say that the woman did remain on fire even after the husband called 911, but their investigation found no evidence of foul play. We're live in Pinellas County. Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.